So hello everybody and welcome to another awesome flash game. There's another one of these philosophical flash games, as I'm allowed to call them. Uh this is Depict One and this is actually a pretty interesting uh name itself. The name itself pretty much says everything. Well, first off, uh if you were to uh, take the one not just as a letter, but as a word one. Uh, you have to pick one and you can actually uh, form deception out of that one. It's an anagram. So you can make deception out of that and also you can make deceit out of it. Out of the, the picked one. And also out of the picked one you can make a uh, where is it? Poetic end. Yeah. It's also the name of the batch in uh, Congregate. So damn this game. <laughs> Just the title itself is just awesome sauce all over the place. So here we go. We're gonna restart the game. The big one. Do not press X and C. Um, let's just do this. Bam. He's after you. Okay. Listen to me very carefully if you want to survive. No move. Press the arrow keys. And basically. It's gonna give it, yeah, give the k twist to you right away. Try pressing the arrow keys. Nothing happens. At least the background spins a little. What you actually have to do is you have to use X and C to run. And this is, uh, this already shows you the big kicker. The voice up there is always lying to you, no matter what it says. Oh, what did I do? It's not the right way. So there must be another way out. Keep that line in mind. Keep that line in mind so much. There must be another way out. Now it seems like you are in the same place as before, and it seems like you did something wrong. But no, this is the next level. It's just trying to trick you into thinking you are in the, uh, you are still in the same level, but you're not. Listen to me. Your space power to jump. And if you actually look at that closely, I'm going to show it to you again. If you actually use space by your suicide. And look at it again. He pauses on the J. Look at it again. He actually pauses on the J for a tiny split second. And the reason why it does that is if you listen, to, if you well, read it very closely and pay attention, you will realize that J is going to be the jump button. And not space, space suicides too. As I showed you before. And yeah, it seems like. I don't know what actually that creature's telling is supposed to be. It looks like a hamster that's on fire. So we're just gonna call him Burning Hamster. Also, the music is gonna set in right here, so if you wonder why there's no music, well, it's supposed to set in right there. And I think it's a little bit loud, wait a second. Free to do as we please. Kill the creature by jumping on it. Wait a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I think that should be a bit better. It just has trust me. When you go by. But maybe the cage isn't so bad. That's actually fake gold here. There was six. Sorry if I annoy you with the voice, but who cares? Actually, as the name suggests, it's bottomless. Duh. You're not listening to me. Do you trust me? Oh, there's a talent there. Hurry up, you're a lot of time here. And of course, you don't want to go in there yet. You want to wait. Dot, dot, dot. What are you waiting for? Question mark. You're not even listening. And da -da. actually, I'm um, negative time there, but yeah, now I can go. There they are. We need those chaps. No, we don't. Actually, kill you if you touch him. You used to trust me. 
Actually, I can't remember that. I can actually see that spice down there. And remember what he said? Um, he's gonna um, he's gonna stop lying to you. And uh, he was right. And basically, if you jump on that thing, uh, the floor below is gonna crack down and you're gonna fall. And then you gotta have to use the bottomless pit on the left side to get over there. But you can actually make this jump. Let's just see if I can do this. Yes, you can. Oh yeah, if you press this button, the box gonna fall down and kill this creature. <laughs> Sad. That's why I'm gonna suicide and I do this again because I wouldn't, don't want to kill this creature. No. Yeah, of course you don't have to do that, but I do. I can't do this. Whatever. This is impossible. You can't cross that pit of spikes. Turn back. And basically it turns out those are not really spikes. They're coins. Or at least half coins. So on the level earlier with the bridge you could have just walked across the spikes and collected them. And you don't even really have to uh, use the bridge. And if you do that you actually jump lower than usual, but you really do need that because else you're gonna get killed by the gems there. That's it. Nothing more to see. Let's escape the exit. Now there are three endings to the game. This is the first one, and of course I'm gonna show you every ending. So let's fall for it. Da -da. That's the first ending. Press escape there, and you're gonna um, and I don't, I don't know if you actually have to press escape there or if it. It works on any level. Basically, that's the first level. And I'm gonna meet you. Oh, it's th it does start us back here. Okay. Thought I had to do that again. Whatever. But basically, you jump over here and it's a secret. I said that's all. You won't listen to me. I warned you. I will no longer try to save you. Good luck. And the last few levels we're gonna do without his fucking voice. Whoa. K. Ah, what K means? What could K possibly mean? Well, maybe we should try and press K. Oh, duh, it throws a spike. Oh god, I cannot make this one. And there's an important thing here. Uh, if you press K to uh, use a spike, you actually stop in mid-air. And uh, that's gonna be important for later. If you do it right, you can actually jump, uh, jump to the wall, throw a spike, and then land on the same spike. Now this switch makes this block right here disappear. And as you can see, we need to make a wall there for this block. And now we can just throw a spike over there. And there we go. This this burning hamster is actually floating. Weird. Ascent. Some players actually get stuck on there, but only some, not really that many, because the rest, most of the players do realize that you can go through here. Duh. The players that get stuck on this level are probably most uh, the ones that uh, run all the way over here, stand there. Uh, the end. I'm gonna write a bashful comment now saying this game sucks. And also probably the game will always act like this. Now basically you stand on these and shoot spikes, and if they're in the way, and just get over there and like this. You can you cannot uh, throw spikes and they'll block it off. 